Hey, this is Toby. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we will test an old strategy of mine I created over five years ago. And we will code an EA to test this on new data. And in the end of the video or in one of the next parts, I will also show you another strategy we can test and run with this EA. Um, that's even better. I will show you all the settings. So let's go. Okay, now before we start um, coding this EA, I just want to explain the strategy. It's very simple. This is for a buy trade. We do exactly opposite for a sell trade. So we need a streak of green or red bars. Um, we have a bar size filter. So each bar has to be above a specific um, size in points. And we enter the trade on the next bar open tick. We have a take profit in points. We have a stop loss in points. And we also have a time exit to close all the trades at a specific time. I created the strategy over five years ago. Um, I have to say, I don't trade the strategy in my live account because back then I did not have the knowledge to do proper backtesting and test for robustness. But we can test how the strategy will perform on new data. And doing so, I also found another strategy um, that we can trade with the EA we are about to code. That's even better. Um, I already showed you the equity graph here. And we can also test how this strategy, because this is the testing period, um, performs with out of sample data. So up to today, so the last two years. Um, we will do this in the end of the video or in one of the next parts. But first of all, let's switch to Visual Studio Code and start coding. Um, you can also use, of course, the meta editor to code the CA. If you want to know how to set up Visual Studio Code for the MQL5 language, I've made a video about this. I will link it up here. And I also use the light mode for this video because yeah, I'm on the road right now and it's easier for me to see. Okay, so let's just create a new file. I will do this in my YouTube folder here. So right click, new file. And let's call this streak ea.mq5. This. And now to start things off, I will just open another EA. First EA, for example, and I will copy a few things here just to get the properties, paste it here. Um, I will also add another comment above the properties like this and change this to properties. Um, in the meta editor, you can also press control and period to get such a comment here. I don't know if this works in Visual Studio Code. If you know about this, uh, let me know in the comments. So the properties here, copyright, let's change the year. And yeah. Version. Now the next um, section here are the include. Um, we already have the trade.trade.mqh here. And for this EA, we also want, the, want to include the position class. So also trade and we can also write um, slash in Visual Studio Code so we don't get this warning here. Um, we can quick fix this. Trade um, position info like this and yeah maybe we just compile now. So I press control shift and x to compile in Visual Studio Code. Yeah, we don't have a event handling function yet. Um, so let's do this. I will open the first EA again and I will just copy this on init function here. Down here, I will clear all the code in here like this. And now we should be able to compile without any mistakes. Okay, so the properties includes um, next I want to change this to inputs here. And yeah, let's start with the inputs. So first of all, we want to declare a new group of inputs. So input um, group and let's do a simple divider here. General maybe like this. And the first input we want is, of course, the magic number. So input 
maybe we do this as a static input so we cannot change it in the optimization because because the magic number is always fixed um, static input of type long um, input magic number default value just a random num number here this and yeah we also write a comment here magic number okay next is the lot size input for the a can also be static here, input of type double. Um, let's call it input lot size. And the default value, let's just set it to 0 0.01 and write a comment lot size. Let's do another group here. I will just copy this, paste it here, and let's name this here trading. Um, maybe we hit compile again. Okay. You can also compile in Visual Studio Code up here. Um, a normal compile and compile with a script. So it also reloads the EAs in the MetaTrader 5 platform in the stretch tester. Okay, so next inputs here in the trading group um, is for the time frame of the EA. So we want a input of type enum timeframes and let's name it input timeframe default value maybe period um, um, five so five minutes and a comment here timeframe and the next input is for the yeah, the streak input how many consecutive bars um, we need to open a position. Um, if we take a look at the picture here again, so in this example, of course, we need three green bars to open a buy position. So let's do a input of type integer. Um, this is a simple number, and the name is input input um, streak, maybe, and the default value three. Let's say candle streak. Next input is for the size here. So we can set the size and points. So input um, also type integer input or let's say size filter. Um, default value, uh, maybe we set this to, I don't know, 100 points, or let's say zero, um, because zero means off, so no size filter at the default values, so size filter. Next input is for the take profit, so input of type integer, this will also be in points. So input take profit, um, default value maybe also zero. And a comment here, um, take profit in points and also zero equals off. Uh, maybe we also add this here for the size filter, so zero equals off. And we do the same for the stop loss. Maybe we do this before the take profit. So right here, stop loss. Um, the default value here, I would set this to 200. And stop loss in points. And also zero equals off, um, like this. Let's align this a little bit. So looks a little bit, it's easier to read, basically. Um, yeah. Like this. And also the comments. Okay, so we have the magic number, we have the lot size, we have our time frame input for the bars, um, we have the streak, 
um, the size filter, we can set this to zero, so we don't have a size filter, we can set the stop loss take profit to zero. Um, this is all in points here. Maybe we add this to the size filter comment here, size filter in points, so the user knows um, what to enter here. Okay, let's hit compile and make sure you have no mistake. Oh, and of course, we also need another input for the um, time exit here. So let's add this here after the take profit. So input, this will also be just an integer because we just set the hour um, where we want to exit all the trades. So input time exit hour um, default value 22. So we close all the trades before midnight um, and a comment time exit hour. And maybe if we don't want to have a time exit, we can say this time minus one equals off because zero of course is a valid time to close all the trades at midnight so minus one equals off and let's compile again and that's it for the inputs let me check again so we have the bar size filter we have the number of bars we need in a row um, we have the time exit take profit stop loss yeah okay so next uh, we want to write the global variables for this EA I will copy one of these comments here, write another section, um, and let's rename this to global variables, like this. And here, first of all, we want to declare a MQL tick variable. So MQL tick, let's just call it tick here. Also, we want to have a object of our C trade class and C position class. So C trade, just call this trade, and C position info, position. Okay, I think that's it for now for the global variables. Yeah, let's hit compile here, make sure you have no mistake, and let's take a look at the on init function. Okay, so the first thing here in the on init function is to check the inputs here from the user. Um, I think that's very important. So we want to create a custom function for this. And here we just write a if statement. So if, and the function will be called check inputs, no parameters. And if this is false or returns false, then we also want to return here from the, for the on init function in it, um, parameters incorrect like this and don't forget to add a exclamation mark here in the beginning so only if this function returns false we want to stop the a and return init parameters incorrect okay now next step is to create this custom function so I will just copy this comment section here paste it down here and let's call this custom functions like this and here we write our check inputs function now so of type void so no return um, type well boolean of course we want to return true or false um, check inputs is the name um, but no parameters and we return true here in the end and now we should be able to compile here without any mistakes. Yeah. And now we can check for the inputs. Okay, so let's start with the first input here, which is the magic number. Um, we just want to make sure that the user does not enter a negative number, for example. So we can just write a if statement here. Input magic number. And this should, if this is below, or let's say equal to zero, um, we want to print a error message for the user so alert and yeah, wrong input and let's say magic number um, less or equal to zero so when you start the EA 
and the magic number is below zero, then we want to return false and the A should not start. I get a lot of messages um, saying, okay, my A does not start. Um, you just have to look into the log um, of your MetaTrader 5 platform. And maybe I will show you this right now. So let's hit compile here. Okay, we have three messages. Um, input, we probably called it magic number, like this. Let's hit compile again. Um, alert. It's early in the morning, sorry. Um, okay, so now we don't have any mistakes. Um, let's actually test this in the MetaTrader 5 platform. And before we do this, in Visual Studio Code, I also compile using the script. So it opens up the meta editor and compiles the file there, closes the meta editor again. So it also reloads the EA here in the platform. Um, here, we should be able to see it here in the YouTube folder now. Um, streak EA, there it is. Let's open a new chart. I will just open Euro dollar chart here. And let's run this EA. We see all the inputs. Um, and now if we enter, for example, a negative number, minus five here, and we press OK, we get the alert here, wrong input, magic number below equal to zero. OK, so this works fine. And let's um, take a look at the other inputs. But I think we'll do this in the next part. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, if you are interested in learning MQL5 from the ground up, I have a programming course on my website and I have a Discord server right now. So you are free to join. The link is in the description below. And yeah, there are pretty awesome people here um, sharing interesting stuff. I'm pretty proud of the community. So you can join for free. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Have a great week. If you have a question, just write me a comment. If this video was helpful, leave a like and I wish you all the best in your trading. Bye bye.